No checks on NSLs, not lack of procedural safeguards below, rampant abuse of NSLs, the intent is to expose sources, paid clearly 16. The FBI must get the Attorney General to approve spying on journalists. The FBI can avoid the process by having its own the General Counsel approve these uh, reports that expose info about the President. Government often cite anonymous sources. This triggers investigation in the least FBI tactics worries people who have exposed government law in the past. The intent is to expose or sources the way to conduct extra legal access to, to surveillance, preempt the Constitution, and bypass judicial due process agents use an NSL to circumvent guidelines and NSLs are unique targets, black notice, and can't challenge their legitimacy. Hop and Yons too. Oh, secrecy surrounding NSL target, oh, black notice, and an opportunity to be heard before uh, documents are turned over, non disclosure provisions provided to post hoc enforcement. FBI is free to request records without sensitivity on um, First Amendment rights as long as the info is relevant to an investigation, judicial review to ensure that NSLs are not uh, issued in bad faith. It's unavailable to guidelines and not been followed. Direction. Discretion remains uh, with the executive branch. And free journalism is good as groundbreaking stories come from confidential sources. They expose rampant corruption and government secrecy. Hammond and uh, 14. Our most significant uh, stories come to light through confidential sources, Pentagon Papers, Watergate, the FBI, served petitions, after the program in 1953, coup, and Iran, a uh, senator abusing authority, the Iran Contra arms for hostages, yield 42% of federal officials provided confidential info to the press, the Abu Ghraib uh, scandal received info from un anonymous sources, and corruption means more exploitation of poverty, Johnson 12. Corruption, given <laughs> poverty, corruption thrives upon weakness in key economic, political, and social institutions. Poor people and businesses are vulnerable to exploitation. They are underpaid, and poverty only sharpens further corruption. A violation of poverty, of privacy, are both are ethically and consequentially wrong. McFarlane, no date. The more widely uh, in, uh, the more widely info is disseminated, the greater danger of marriage discrimination and other abuse. Uh, the lack of privacy can inhibit personal involvement and freedom of expression. It restricts individuals' autonomy and uh, effort into the dignity of the person who leaves individuals more vulnerable to the power of the government. Thus, the plan of the United States federal government should provide the right to protect the identity of confidential sources by prohibiting the use of national security letters for the purpose of determining the source of someone engaged in the process of reporting Hopping Young Street. Effective means of protecting journalists news gathering against NSLs with you to return the NSL to the pre-1993 scope. Part of 1993 of mere showing of the relevance to a terrorism, uh, terrorism investigation was not sufficient. NSLs could only be issued for the records of enemies believed to be a foreign power agent. The records of journalists would rarely be subject to review. She continues uh, to provide such protection of NSL statutes by excluding reporters' privilege from their right to view. And the plan definition of journalism by process not people is key to equal access, purity, and not. The definition of journalists should focus on the process of determining who are journalists is central to the debate about show laws, big media definitions, well, because they result in traditional media instead of protecting media. Well, the process of journalism these states of broad definitions of focus on the journalistic process and uh, defines a journalist as any journalist, uh, any, uh, defines a journalist as any person, company, or entity engaged in the business of gathering, editing, or recording or processing information for dissemination via any news medium, the framework. The standard is maximizing its well being one act through specificity, a no act which in the distinction choosing to admit it is an act once all people psychologically decide not to act, which means the being presented with the app creates a choice between two actions, neither which is an omission. Be no intent and force that distinction. If we foresee a consequence, then it becomes part of our deliberation, which makes it intrinsic to our actions since we intended to happen. Two reductionism of split brains and empirics through part 84. Surgeons of cut fibers, the effect is two separate theories of consciousness. Psychologists can thus present two questions in two halves of the vis visual, visual field and can receive two different answers since identity is incoherent. We just maximize benefits and three reject healthy nights. A empirically deny both individuals and policymakers carry out effective cost benefit analysis, which means that even if decisions aren't always perfect, it's still better than not acting at all. B theory, they're functionally known that everyone knows their silly biscuit. The outcome is debated away from the topic and actual philosophical debate, killing valuable education for only consequentialism expands degrees of wrongness, telling why lie and lying about catching your kid when they jump off the playground is obviously different. Only consequence Consequences. Explain why in five truth testing just makes up rules to constrain discussion of race and cement the status quo and just plain wrong over in Scoggins 15. To allow exceptions proves the constraint trump the totality rule any advantage to allow critiques performances and roles of ballot justifies this when we implicitly suggest that these CCs have little value the values later when they make debate home. In round argumentation, increasing new rules of engagement, debaters should be prepared to justify their proposed rules of permanent and negative are insufficient to produce universal rules. It is absurd to observe plans, critiques, theory, arguments, etc., and claim that it is constitutive nature to exclude these at different times. The community has very different views. Some agency does not follow reason. Uh, reasons tell us to uh, test the truth of resolution. Can, uh, one constitutive feature of debate is its unique capacity to change the rules while well, talking just having controversial empirical conditions. Debate does not discussing when conditions uh, debating something is only procedural if it's enforced by the tournament and the under view on it. So, the focus of the reporters. Privilege debate, uh, Robinson 17. These with which government can obtain the identity of sources, regardless of testimony protection, should be central to the government authority uh, to bypass subpoena approval through an NSL. Any argument must take into account you as re reasonably. If we win, persuasive defense that their abuse of mar is marginal enough not to abandon substance, don't vote on it. One norming theory requires abandoning substance just at a norm, which means that any norm must outweigh risk of voting on theory uh, rather than substance. Extreme offense defense and risk of offense disincentivizes quality engagement, which matters because becoming persuasive arguers, this debate only impacts the optimality inevitable. There is always something we could 
Peter Spiker makes it clear the encourage shows that arguing impossible to generate offense against, but will almost never actually influence around wing turns their argument a point. Or are they saying, oh, it's diminishing marginal excuse over substance means that theory is, has no effect because any justification proves, proves oh, presumes an end goal, natural engagement, be fairness, moving the entire one you see over any min oh, potential, minus goal potential these is unpredictable, rex, app strategy, and unverifiable, which means every, oh, uh, there's, there's always an implicit dissent to every shell, see, answer, drop the debater, if escape the app, less credence proportional to how much their strategy is skewed, dissent doesn't automatically outweigh because that 2014 they have to justify whether their excuse substantial enough to warrant a loss, arbitrariness is inevitable, there's no completely objective way to determine whether two error explanations is newer versus just man or how to weigh what versus consequence, every judge liberalize on heuristics, and there's no way to theory should be different considering assassinating nature and all the advocates, one error theory to shop the debater, one error sheet, time should go for theory and something and I need out when the NC is structurally abusive, then structural abuse always something to be beast, nothing one error. Oh, when I seek triggers presumption or principality, but they should have from one one error times giving the one error has seven, has to answer seven minutes of offense and hedge against six minutes two error clocks. If they that can't prove the app false, you should prove it to, um, uh, presume it's true too. You presume statement is true unless proven false. If I tell you my name is Ethan, you believe me unless you have evidence to the contrary. Three presuming statements are false is impossible. We can't operate in the world if we can't trust anything we hear. Uh, we would argue that there aren't. Yeah, so okay. NSLs, every instance of an NSL. Oh, sorry. Uh, we would say that we should, uh, like per the plan text, that uh, the United States should provide the right by prohibiting the use of NSLs for the purpose of determining okay. someone who's so engaged in the process. So every instance that there is an any instance of a proposed NSL, there are no exceptions in the world of the affirmative NSL is known exists, correct? Uh, excuse me? Are there, are, is there, are there any exceptions to the yes or no? It's a simple question. Uh, I think that it's more than just like a simple question because there are NSLs for the use of journalism. There's NSLs more broadly. Can there be an instance in the world of the affirmative where an NSL is like given to uh, like a publisher? Uh, there are instances where NSLs can be given to like uh, non-reporters. But to reporters? Uh, we would argue that NSLs for reporters uh, like wouldn't follow. Okay, so no, no, no exception. Okay. Sure. Uh, the impact of the app is like free journalism, right? Like empowering the media? Uh, sure, it's like empowering the media. We say that like free journalism is good and that it checks uh, government abuse. We also say that corruption is bad, it causes poverty. Okay. And we would also argue that privacy is just like that. What are Calcindites? Uh, Calcindites are saying like uh, everything is permissible because there is like there are infinite universes. Or so just that one argument is. No, that's like one example. There are other calcindites. So like define what a calcindite is so I know what is and is not a calcindite against the term. Uh, sure. So we would argue that calcindites are um, like things that interfere with, or things that like indict the ability of the affirmative to like calculate consequences. So, so like any negative framework that says consequentialism is irrelevant? Uh, we wouldn't argue that like any negative framework that says consequentialism is irrelevant. You would just have to win that those consequences don't matter. Uh, we would argue that like calcindites mean that like just prevent the app from accessing its uh, advantages. You say nothing though in its engineers presumption of permissibility, but they should affirm. Which of these arguments proves why permissibility pr should affirm Daryl? They all seem to be why reason why presumption. Uh, sure. So we argue that um, you presume statements true and less false. Okay, that's presumption. Why? Why, why does that prove permissibility? Uh, it proves permissibility because if there isn't like. An obligation, you should have. Uh, you should have to like prove a disobligation to prove that there like isn't one. Okay, I think that, it's like where is it like that argument is not made. Like where is that? Yeah, the argument is is like, like statements true and less false. So like you if just you have told me two completely sure. different. Sure. So if okay, I guess the better or the more clear way to make the argument is that if you don't prove that there's a prohibition on uh, on the resolution, you should like go. Uh, it should uh, permissibility should flow out because unless you prove a prohibition, we. We presume statements to be true, which means that we would presume it's true that there is a moral obligation. Okay. Uh, sorry, sorry.
guess to answer your spec question a little bit more, it seemed, uh, I define like reporters on process based. So <coughs> you might not get like some of the just ads that say like, uh, here's like what a mainstream reporter is and arguments like based on uh, established like media, for example. Two or three off. Uh, there's three off in the dock, but I likely won't have enough time for the third one. So uh, I'll just have to choose a different. I'll just go through one. Because if I get to three off. Let me know when you can drop it. Okay, so maybe three off and then. Three off and then. the burden of negative spirit that there's no morally relevant distinction between reported and other citizens, the burden of affirmance spirit, but vice versa, for purpose, for response, the burden of the potential, the typical place, one on one burden, both the burden of the burden of the burden of the resolution of interpretation, is being the last negative number, and the number of different assets of all structures, response, the always claims of all the procedural prayers must verifiable. Also, cross by the argument from the under the second sexual and resolution question whether we should grant you unique rights and specific set of individuals, inherently questionable prioritization. We should, wouldn't expect a right to win to get the same privilege that the resolution was that there's something unique about reporters that doesn't apply to other people in cyber dismiss, it was anonymous with the resolution, and we can follow the position of the activity of the interview with the pragmatic. The ultimate rules the activity in order to be the purpose of practice, and the same with those who design the part from the standpoint of just fair consideration of the government play. It's a bold chess player, makes an illegal argument that results from an intellectual challenging the favors of the who wants to ignore the argument and prohibit the move. The authority of the rules is absolute pleasure. I may disagree about the interpretation of the statement, not take the distinction that authority rules should be set aside, and the burden of law with the resolution means so must come first as part of concession, part defining constitutes the offense. Also, means that if I lose the burden, you still vote for me because I have to include the resolution as well. So, uh, the, the, and then they gave a first is reported this legal distinction, and even laws can't report exactly what a reporter is. That's just their thing, judge's face without revision. 
Now, for the report to the listener, we believe that when the vaccine nature of the person was being inside the report, the communication makes it impossible to construct a reasonable and useful definition or for the court to address the definition of the case involved traditionally and today the worried about the expanse of the scope of the village implication. First, it is impossible to put five distinctions in the context of the approach, even if you want a specific example where jurisdiction has, because it doesn't prove the general decision between a court and other citizens is indeterminate because we can't understand what a reporter is in the first place. Second, legal decisions that are not morally run shot. Piro writes it, the interactive is issued by the authority of the agent should be conformed to the direct amount of this conformity is required by the director, rather, because the agent should always act according to the balance of reasons. The balance of reasons is not support the act, the agent should not conform to the director, therefore, authority to reject directors can never be reached to act in exile. Permissibility presumption to get a point of resolution in case the act of approval obligation permissibly did not exist in the obligation also takes up their limit explanation and cross-examination why permissibility affirms that something is permissible. We don't presume it's true, we assume it's false. For example, if I say breathing is permissible, uh, obviously, uh, obviously, that, uh, obviously that, if I, we don't have an uh, or that, that's the fact. If I say I don't know, throwing a rock is permissible, we don't we have an obligation to throw a rock. People would assume, uh, we, we, well, obviously people wouldn't, wouldn't, wouldn't assume that statement is true. There's no large logic there. Second, and statements are more often false and true because any part could be false things to get either an office or a resolution to false 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 about how we can live in a world we can don't assume things that you the contrary is actually true. We don't live in a world where we just assume every obligation we impel is something that we should follow and more allow them to grant opportunities to get action otherwise everyone has a breath of the of all different rules. And truly things independent of human experience to certain things being self a triangle has three sides and the difference between operating off with things only true balance relationship matters which would by a matter of chance, for example, by capitating down the map as we can also be a world conceivable world which has not a man property we can't conceive a world which is triangle to not three sides and tells logic between reject opportunity to their software states and be not conceived of ethics and operators and civil life everyone able is also universal ethics morally because our Feels like that actually means that that's expanded you with one pathological contradiction, any non uniform and just the invisibility of your own entail, so it means universality. Access that constraint on insufficient grammar CR 99, where I represent my energy, represent the binding means certain course of action, thus my doing zero, but my student representing my energy, where man recognition from other subjects and functions is objective for me, and if I'm committed to realizing my MSM and the words of my energy recognized by others, that's the same consistency with universal maximum. Maximum is an offense, so first coercion negates the one government the right should be able to prove what other institutions should and should do when it comes to sending out an assault and coercion does your coercion comes from the affirmative domain, so there's nothing extremely coercion with any action of sending out an NSL is just a communicative action, but it's intrinsically coercive to defeat someone's ability to freely communicate with the reporter via NSL, also means your privacy are so true in the NC. Uh, the, the privacy in the context of the act is not an intrinsic harm. Second, if there's an operator distinct between nations where a reporter privilege prior to a certain class based on empirical conditions, that negates because universal ability requires all obligations apply to every need to generate reciprocal obligations. This also is the offense for me under the burden of proof of participation in the app generates a top of Syria, absolutely determined by spatial immediate circumstances. Third, is independently hindered, but hinders doesn't make sense for assuming anything conditional about because the SI violence and other things indicated that. Both men the same, he can never violate others, even if they're violating others, because they would treat them as unconditional violence. Like you have violence until you violate the others. Second, it's too right to make a right, but you will violate people who violate others. We're just committing to be wrong, so it doesn't fix anything to steal your money for the day. So charity is wrong. So, is this uh, means that the courage of the app don't make sense? Uh, I have time. Third option. Half plan text use proposed three prong that has to determine one that the use of NSL's legitimate cells on necessary privacy and fraction of maintains that cells are actually needed competitive you defend banning in all instances. I'd say there's these exceptions should be used. Papa Jones, your your own solvency advocate in two thousand ten writes it bill proposing the standard for new issues and NSL requiring specific articulate facts showing that there's reasonable grounds to believe the information software for the form power the agent second relative the activity so suspected being nation third pertains to individual contact with suspected agents investigations that the would like substantially reduce number of situations NSL potentially be used to collect report records and NSLs are now at least a strong Protection so is that they're not that bad. Grossman writes it, and it's a problem with the realized government fees and a social wiretap. I can see that they may also are conducting any kind of surveillance of government achieving money business records while it's visiting no personal information, completely useful in covering terrorist activities and it is routinely obtained while well, little oversight of police and jury investigations like that. Cells and banks are usually provided enough sign outside. The local officials cannot be held accountable for being used to no extensive judicial statutory regulation institutional protection place to ensure that NSLs are not misused and not violate American privacy rights. And NSLs are a fact that producing counter terror and told least and waste invasive way possible. They also use the exonerate and individual in place of more severe uh, surveillance methods. Grossman writes in cells proven invaluable tools in counterterrorism and counterintelligence investigation for mission of the uh, investigation crowd case to fill out toll building records. The FBI was able to demonstrate the US based in the uh, US based intelligence of counter is subject here requirement to find the operation of the NSL's authority to write the Federal Privacy Act while FBI is remarked when the enemy can find national protect as well to completely effect the method of obtaining basic data crucial discovery monitoring on finding terrorist activities so be to examine frequently used to place a more basic method in surveillance search and seizures and offers as well not applicable also independent offense in my prayer because obviously you're wrongly convicting some of the worst harm to the intrinsic harm of fairness, uh, you're saying they're guilty when they truly are in second to and, and strong intelligence can be used to discourage his initiation of bioweapon attacks that could get your 14 intelligence data collection and play informed into that fact that include biological deterrence to greater days before 9 11 terror, stronger, more sophisticated, more training time to offer for a primary essential for security. We want privacy with have your intelligence day to those who embrace ultimate technical issues and remember the military administration that deterred our enemies. We must make the use of all available to the for sophisticated operations that bias our context. Now, with nuclear war, definitely outweigh the app, which is like small impacts that your parents buy terrorists because that's more 
Mississippi Bar Sister, when people, hundreds of most people, Robert events that Jenna and Junior have in the door for getting married, groups of healed biologic bonds, weapons, disease, and medicine, and one of the most heavily found species around the world, they government circulated natural benefits from being launched into the pathogenic biosphere, so it would be the largest at all, cut the card at all. Case overview, uh, let's get the first overview. Framework. Uh, actually, on, their, on your card's proper. Uh, first, on the market, first, is a proof of consequentialism. You don't only care about the intrinsic structure of an action, but you can change it. Even if that change is consistent with constantly changing premises, the spectrum then sees the three things consistently a process for a false action. I'm that also the part of the increase to false that we don't have to identify the insurance. There's no reason why future current state of affairs or future exists within it. We shouldn't care about consequences. Also, proves the resolution false because if identity is incoherent, then you can't protect the identity of confidential sources because the identity is determined and incoherent. On the year and set forth, if one that you can't will an end is incoherent, if something unexpected happens, the consequences would not be part of the relation. We say, even if it's empirically used, the market says it. It is not used correctly or cannot happen. So your acclimation argument is for its impact justifies the more white state legitimacy is necessary for our rather just states. The state would be legitimate to gen and proper trade offset. On your degrees of our arguments, argument, first of all, some general my fair obligations are equally about second. The framework also explains degrees of our arguments based on severity, contradiction, when willing a maxim. Uh, Can I use my stamp? Yeah. <laughs> There's some, there were like a couple I know like in the interview. Do you want me to like send an email? Uh, sure. Yeah? Yeah. Um, So you say that identity is incoherent, which uh, proves the resolution false. Why does this like auto negate? Uh, so your evidence indicates that identity is incoherent. You said that verbatim. Argument that if that is true, the resolution says that we should protect the identity of confidential sources. But if identity is incoherent, then it is incoherent. All right, that's protect fine. The identity of that's fine. Sources. That's fine. That's fine. Uh, the burden. Uh, you talk about like. Why should we reject uh, like, cont like why should we reject empirical truths just because uh, they like exist in the world today and aren't necessarily a priori? Uh, I think that's an argument I make in the MC, not the burden. And the uh, yeah, I see that's in the MC, but I'm just wondering like what's the yeah. The argument is that uh, essentially they they're just arbitrary states of being. They're are they're but why should we reject them? Because they can't be a found foundation for ethics, which must. Be normative, right? They want to say this action is bad. And sure. So, like, normative can or ethics can be normative. Uh, like, for example, pleasure can like motivate me to do stuff. Why does that mean that you should still reject things that would lead to greater pleasure? Uh, wait. I think there's there's like two like there's like a there's a distinction here that there needs like you're not understanding. There's like a distinction between like avoiding things that do pleasure, i.e., the other premise he still makes, and like the a priori and a posteriori distinction. The yeah, a posteriori distinction says that ethics cannot be grounded in post Sure, so ethics can't be like grounded in like, or you you argue that like ethics can't be grounded in um, like a or in, yeah, in a posteriori facts. But like, why should we like con entirely reject a posteriori facts if they can like be you know, contingent? It's not that we should entirely reject them, but we can't. They can't be a foundation for a normative ethics or for a normative ethic that defines whether an action is good or bad, independent of specific circumstances. <coughs> Um, because they're just arbitrary, i.e. like whatever circumstance I come upon, it either could have happened, it couldn't happen. The example I give is the cat could be on a mat, the cat couldn't be on a mat, or she would or there's an instance where it's not on a mat. Like, but doesn't just like evaluating the status quo solve? Uh, I don't know what that means in the context of like, the framework today. All right. Your uh, bioterror argument? Uh, you say that, uh, or what's the warrant for like intelligence gathering uh, stopping like bioterror attack? It's like an empirical argument. The argument is that terrorists are getting stronger right now, uh, and so collecting information and uh, based on like whatever activities they're doing uh, and 
whether they are planning to like build something like a biosphere weapon is necessary to hinder those activities uh, and prevent something like this. Okay, so uh, would the counter plans like consequences negate under the framework, or would it only be under the apps framework? The net, the net benefit to the counter plan is uh, an, under util. Okay. I, I, I would say there like might be a net benefit under the NC that it comes from the. Uh, yeah, the like exoneration argument, like keto preventing innocent people from. Yeah, that's okay. fine. All right, I'll start from. Uh, it's going to be, um, uh, new off, uh, the AC, starting with the underview, uh, 
the plan and the advantage, the burden, uh, the framework, the counter plan, and presumption. Um, what that do with the plan? Uh, after the plan is the burden. Or sorry, uh, yeah, after the plan is the advantage and then the burden. After the burden. Uh, then framework, counter plan, uh, and then uh, presumption. Framework, you can, like, the NB, or? Uh, yeah, yeah. Do you want me to flow it on, like, yeah? Do you want to, are you, is that, like, response to the? It's response to the NC framework. Okay, so I should try to follow the NB. Mm -hmm. And then the, the counter plan after that? Yeah. <coughs> okay, so. You off under view, uh, app, then the NC, then yeah. the cat head. Let me just get my speech up. No, burden NC and then burden, then the burden cat. NC, uh, counter plan. Okay, I think I, I think I'm in order, so just like cool. I didn't even really switch. Yeah. Okay. A priori is there a voting issue? They can't, or the, the violation is that they read that identity a priori, which is independent of uh, independent of a framework. It's on the uh, it's on the uh, it's on my framework page. The uh, first standard is reciprocity. A priori is are fundamentally reciprocal because they're unturnable and they allow the negative, chore shitty arguments that uh, that uh, set up an X to one burden on the affirmative. Additionally, uh, uh, that uh, that kills fairness. Additionally, clash right. Uh, a priori are determined on the grammar of the topic instead of what the actual to uh, instead of what the actual topic is about, which kills. Topic Public education and uh, edu oh, it kills education fairness voter because debates come out of activity both the better debater not the shit education since schools are not fun for education and funding this is a prerequisite drop the debater they conceded this in the, in the, in the YNC uh, you should drop it because the one is too short to go for theory and substance we uh, prefer uh, uh, structural abuse is bad because it means that uh, 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 structural abuse is bad it means that uh, we like uh, get all right uh, because there's no difference between uh, just being uh, good at debate and being like, strong. <laughs> Or, uh, and uh, substantive abuse, the case. NSLs have no checks right now. The FBI can submit gag orders in the process of subpoenaing journalists that they consider related to a national security investigation, which kills journalism, leads to massive invasions of privacy. Sources receive legal action and are chilled, allowing corruption to go unchecked, increasing poverty. The plan creates clear guidelines that make it substantially harder to ensue NSLs, decreasing government secrecy and surveillance that, uh, um, or actually, uh, yeah, the uh, AC framework. Only consequentialism is something that can explain. De uh, only consequentialism is something that can explain degrees of wrongness. For example, the only way that we can distinguish between different contradictions is by uh, is by uh, the only way that we distinguish between different contradictions is by telling whether these contradictions have bad consequences or worse consequences. For example, we only know that lying is bad because it uh, because it causes the other person to uh, not act on the right information, which could lead to a worse state of affairs for them. But we know that killing someone is even worse because it leads to uh, the ontological destruction of the subject and someone who can no longer enjoy any happiness of uh, there is no way to determine degrees of contradiction because any contradiction is fundamentally a contradiction not, nothing uh, nothing more which proves that uh, that consequentialism is true because it's the only thing that can uh, that can evaluate based on consequences a priori to, or uh, the uh, just the burden First down reciprocity, the burden creates an unreciprocal prep. So you've been able to prep your burden for weeks, but I've only had a couple minutes, which is a reason to not use the second textuality. The resolution is a question of whether the app is a good idea, nothing else. It's not a question of whether there should be a moral way of relevant distinction than already card first estimation. See, we can just choose to not follow the rules, which will be below. And even if the judge has a moral obligation to follow the rules, they shouldn't. Judges vote from non TFs all the time in full education. You can read this burden as the affirmative, but which solves in specific full education is useless. It can't help you any more than other debate. Uh, education can't all debate uses logic and considers alternative views. The content, see, first is. Schmagen, see, and Uncle Levin. Agents not need to care about the qualifications as agents. They can be schmagens and non-agent things that lack the thing as constitutive agent, but are similar to agents when course level applies to the agent who says, why well, care about categorical comparatives with? Otherwise, you wouldn't count on this agent. This skeptic can discard those with. So what would it to be qualified as an agent or not practical reasons? Well, not a recent person who is happy being a schmagen rather than an agent. The status of being constitutive of agency is not suffice for a normatively or uh, non-arbitrary status. And two, there is no internal link just because I have to value my own freedom and reason does not mean, mean that I have to value everyone else's. And three, terrible objection I can tell my maximum speaker 
become specific enough to be universal. For example, I can hold the maximum applying in a specific circ circumstance only as, as, as universal. I that would not create a contradiction in Willis since not everyone would lie constantly and that contention for his turn key uh, well, NSLs are key to stopping the government from coercing reporters to disclose their sources, which links to the framework and two other cases when coercion is justified, for example, parents forcing, or actually the counterpoint. Terrorists like tacit knowledge so they can uh, deploy the technology they effectively lens those 14. DIY biology discussions embody most leading assumptions taught ta by moralistic understanding tacit knowledge is overly focused on access to materials and info rather than human practices and institutional dimensions to portray speculative scenarios as reality when this is not warranted and there's a huge solvency deficit to the counterpoint against circumvented they, uh, reporters cannot challenge the NSL which means that they are always allowed because there is no review process to them which proves that even if uh, there are supposed checks they never get actually implemented in reality. Uh, the argument is that uh, there isn't a review process uh, for NSLs, which means that uh, they will get circumvented. There was also one that there is like uh, that even like even if exceptions exist, uh, they like never get checked back. Like there's no regulatory uh, agency because the one in charge of it all is uh, are the one in charge of like determining whether NSLs are like good or bad. Uh, like allow NSLs to be retrieved without warrants, for example. Yep. Order to like uh, shell. Oh wait, can you have? Shell, uh, then the counter plan, uh, then the app. And then I'll like start with like an overview of how you should look at all the other flows. Okay. I'm just like pumping. All of them. So I don't know if you want to put that in the You might have your sample. Yeah, go for it. Out there on I'll, I'll, I'll consider some agency a shutdown the FCM and do you use you totally masterly under code of counterpoint, which is what I'm going for. All in the burden on the burden arguments, I'll, 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 I'll also put the reasons to reject the burden IE tie reciprocal that, well, that, that like also cross somehow cross by this agency argument, etc., which is you default to the burden of just you know, whoever proves the resolution is a good idea. I'm gonna root prove that the resolution is a horrible idea, and then that benefits the that, that, that benefits the counter plan, which means uh, the, 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 he never articulates the, 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 the counter burden on the NC as independent reason to vote me down, etc. It's just a reason to reject the burden that that flow goes away. Uh, now let's just cover this uh, let's, let's cover these uh, this offer this cover of operational so over here on the operational points that I did not read an offer I didn't read an operator operators are something that would for example prove the resolution pathologically true or prove that the resolution is semantically always gonna be always gonna be true true or false or uh, pathologically false but my argument is that you made an argument that proved the resolution is false which means that eight points that if anything you were the one who read the operator I did not read the warrant for the operator so you violate uh, the shell and uh, you you uh, you violate uh, the shell though but it's an independent good reason uh, reason to go for me all the other so we, we, you should also you should hold up the text of the interpretation because it, he does this something like he does something like norm setting uh, because obviously obviously otherwise there's no way to to, 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 to run whether or how the norm should be applied uh, as opposed to uh, going to constitutively the text with me that if I did not read the a priori I said you read an a priori and that 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 negate that, that that's the reason why I mean the interpretation on the on the interpretation points that turn our terminal defense of the shell proper it's a reciprocal you can read all the a priori you run you can read more than me I do you have the, the norm the norm the, the shell is contextual to this to this round I in round the in round piece within a specific round which means that you have zero offense on the shell proper so guys. Uh, second, that you cross by reasonability argument for the uh, from the affirmative, you have linked in fact term guide. I you could link uh, put to both the a priori level and uh, the, the substantive level, which means that obviously if you want to you know the one to be a question of topic debate, uh, which was the, which was the reasonability argument in the affirmative, it's uh, for the reason you pull the trigger on reasonability on the special for proper seconds that you never actually could have argued it. Clearly, you want to be shifting you to competing interests in the context of the theory of, of the theory debate, which means that uh, you know, it's a voting issue, you should be a question of reasonability. They're the one who set the bright line of top of the Lincoln in fact term ground. You have Lincoln in fact term ground on both the a 
property or a level substance layer. Don't vote on the don't vote on the shelf. The third issue, to, even if it is relevant, it should be a voting issue. It should be a question of dropping the operator or property. Obviously, it's a question of the operators or reciprocal way ground and when you drop the ring the obviously the the only the only problem with the operator is the operator itself, not the actual argumentation. And then that's the reason why the operator should be put on not means the debate or key is it to have something like it's key to devolving the debate to something like topic topic specific debate, etc. I.e. all the net benefits from the interview for the affirmative are reasons why topic debate uh, topic debate is a good idea. Uh, lastly is like uh, lastly is turn to your education army operators are good to understand the nuances of how the resolution should be interpreted, which in this prior and prior questions that about in the implementation of the resolution because we don't understand what the resolution it means and we don't understand how it's implemented, which means um, there is that impact the impact to your notion of like things like grammar and stuff because it's topical education instead of different things like grammar or prior questions is things like topical education. Uh, <coughs> The camp, the camp plan, a point that the over the, uh, 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 you can't wait, you can't wait the options from the effort against the benefit of the camp plan, the counter plan co opsy, affirmative IE, we can still ban, and as the we can still ban and itself, we choose to pass them through the three prong text, uh, solve 100% of the affirmative. Uh, B point is that even if you think there's enough benefit to the, the affirmative, you, you haven't made a permutation, which means it just quite becomes a question of weighing debate on equal. You can see that the impact of my counter plan outweighs because literally it's extinction, everyone dying, as opposed to a couple of like yeah, people with a, 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 a few forms of things like civic engagement, etc. Although obviously it's just completely dwarfed by the impact of the counter plan. So so if you told it's true, and the uh, of an under bringing of the aggregation, et cetera, the counterpoint negates, the extend the, the, the text and the and Hopkins and evidence that we use a third party approach to determine what NSOs are legitimate to solve the necessary privacy infraction, but it maintains that NSOs are actually needed, uh, which means that it depends on the You can be, um, your, 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 your piece of evidence is mitigatory defense that's best, and it just doesn't, it, you do have zero evidence interaction. So let's extend the delictory approach. You straight up can see that they're effective for using counter intel um, in the least way invasive possible. They're also used to exonerate some people in places. More severe surveillance methods, couple implications. First is even if I don't win the extinction impact, that still win that the app is key to reducing things like terrorism, which obviously is still going to outweigh uh, things like civic engagement, etc. Because it's still a question of people dying versus a couple of people engaging in society. There's no weighing analysis done here. Second is that your evidence is holy, your, 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 your evidence just doesn't apply. You say that they lack the knowledge and can't deploy technology efficiently, but they point to the question of modernization. They're, it's going to come it's gonna come to a point where they get the knowledge. The point is that, uh, the, the, the point is that the, you can see the evidence itself is just better. It's, it talks about how terrorists are more sophisticated. They have things like training, training camps, or camps, uh, training camps, etc. That you can, also the third is that you can you can see that it's increasingly easier for it's increasingly easier for it to even happen in one specific instance. And if it does happen in one specific instance, that there's a spillover effect. Things like disease pandemics, etc., are the most threat threatening things faced by the the world. Which means that uh, it, which means that a point you're you're just empirically wrong on this issue. That they they don't need that much until like they don't need uh, obviously groups like uh, terrorist groups. Uh, terrorist groups obviously have things like scientists, etc., which in, uh, just Trigger, trigger the impact of viewpoints that even if they don't, it's still a question of them getting access to the impact, which means that even if they themselves can't formulate the pathogen, they still, still do things like bite, et cetera, things like NSLs are key. They check against those things because they, they check things like transactions, et cetera. Uh, they, they, they check things like transactions, but check their ability to obtain pathogenic weapons in the first place. So the impact is still there. Uh, now in the impact proper, you can see it cause extinction. I always yeah, uh, 100% the farmer 17 evidence indicates that we kill hundreds of millions of people, uh, which, which means that it's just no question the way debate here. Uh, so here's how you break down the round. Burden ends, you go away. Uh, your shell goes away for like a bunch of reasons that you did read, you read and uh, it's just, I'm just waiting on that debate. Uh, counter plan is the net benefits like way better than the app. There's mitigatory defense on it. Uh, it also uh, like also counter plan is also like cupcake, right? It solves the app. Like we can still ban it itself. We just have to pass them through the three prong process <coughs> to the app with these exceptions essentially. Uh, so you can't leverage a case offense against the counter plan. You have no offense in the round.
Yeah. Uh, I'll pre raise that. A priori are a terrible norm for debate. They enable the negative two re to make an x to one skew against against the affirmative. In this case, it was two to one, but in other rounds, were they or are uh, were a priori become a norm? It's, it, it's at least as many. The uh, uh, a priori are fundamentally irreciprocal, which kills fairness because we need to have an equal. We need to have equal passes to the ballot to win, especially multiplied by the fact that this a priori was less than five seconds long, and a priori are always t uh, a priori are always short, which proves that they are uh, like just like bad for debate because uh, they always take more time to answer than read. Framing issues. They fairness link turns education arguments because it controls my ability to engage in arguments, and thus is the gateway to or in round critical thinking and clash. It doesn't matter. Well, or uh, let me make two or uh, make two your weighing arguments because the two and R didn't make any, and I uh, and I need to be. Uh, we need to be able to contextualize what offense comes first under theory, and it doesn't matter that we still learn from theory arguments. The lasting educational impacts that come from strategy and argument skills that debates uh, teaches are. Uh, like, just like don't matter. Uh, and education is a reversible harm. I can always read more on the topic of literature or philosophical literature later, or do rebuttal reduce to increase, uh, increase my clash in critical thinking skills. However, an unfair decision is permanent. There's no way to, reserve, to re reverse an L on the ballot. They, uh, they have also conceded that, our, that one error theory is dropped the debater because uh, the one error is too short to go for substance and theory, which proves uh, the, this shell was one minute low, which proves that we, I need, to, I need to, uh, to be able to win on this shell to be able to have a shot of winning the round, or else nobody will go for one error theory anymore, and they misinterpret. Over the, re uh, the reasonability braille and the reasonability braille line that I go for is not linking impact turn ground. I say that it should be structural versus substantive abuse, and this is obviously structural. It creates a two to one burden versus against me, which, mean which means that as long as I win the, uh, win the shell, the then uh, uh, they create a two to one burden against me. I have to prove, I have to beat back the a priori and prove the app true. The negative just has to go for one or the other, um, which proves that if I like win offense, then I win the round. I've already won the uh, that fairness outweighs education, which proves that rec reciprocity outweighs their or the recipro reciprocity outweighs their uh, topic education claim. But uh, or wait, uh, actually, uh, the text to the interp like the I mean thing. A priori are not things that uh, or, or uh, this like text is like really stupid. A priori are semantic reasons to negate or affirm. A priori are things that are independent of a framework and let the negative get another out. Don't hold me to the text just because like I or, uh, don't hold me to the text because it wasn't like in, uh, verifiable. I uh, exempt it and uh, I did like the, uh, he did read uh, the a priori. He just like he made the implication from the identity to the vowel, which is uh, like definitely read an a priori. Uh, reciprocity. Just because I can read some a priori too in other rounds doesn't solve the my inability to read a priori in the one I see. And just because I, oh, just because you ruin this debate doesn't mean that I should too. And it uh, Lincoln impact turn doesn't, oh, if Lincoln impact turn every round doesn't solve because there is no way for the affirmative to win by proving that identity is okay, coherent. We, oh, it is a voting issue. It's not drop the argument. There is, oh, we, uh, the app, uh, or even if the app has good reason, they still destroy this debate because they read, uh, they read uh, an a priori, which sucks. Uh, a priori suck at like, understanding the resolution, but parents don't participate.